Hey guys, I just wanted to share how I go about, uh, you know, swapping out a chip or whatnot. Um, you know, if you were to replace some, uh, some of the main security ROMs and game ROM, and say a Wolf unit, you get, uh, you know, a little screwdriver, a small one. Happen to, uh, get one of these double-ended ones, and, uh, I take the screwdriver, and I get it right underneath the chip here, and I just slowly do like a seesaw action. Do that a couple of times on one side. I'll go around to the other. And I'll do the other side. And if one side's stick, you know, you can kind of twist a little bit and stuff. Um, it's tough to do uh, one-handed, but if one side's sticking like this one is, you can uh, put your finger over on the opposite side, put a little pressure down, and then, you know, once again, you know, just do a little seesaw action. You can also gently twist the screwdriver. Um, just be mindful. These, uh, these little legs are, you know, they're super thin. And, uh, you know, they're very easy to bend. Um, you know, so, I do one chip at a time. Makes things easier. Um, you'll notice on the chips, uh, as long as the label's not covering it up, there is a little notch right here. Where I have my screwdriver. Right there. And that's going to coincide with uh, the screening on the board. What you can see, there's that little triangle. Little triangle at U63. You always want to make sure that those match up. Um, any of my chips, you know, that I make labels for or whatnot, for the most part, I put a little little red dash right next to the label or right on the label, and then you know, it just shows me that. That's where that little notch is, and that's the you know, orientation of the chip. Um, <laughs> you'd be surprised, uh, you know. Every once in a while, you know, sometimes it does happen. You put one in backwards and you know, power it up, and then that'll that'll fry the chip. Um, it may still actually be good and be able to be re reprogrammed, but it will it will fry the chip. Um, as you can see, I'm doing this with the battery still in. You know, no big deal. Um, I leave the battery in. Um, as you can see, you know, I just gently push down, and clips right in. You know, put a decent amount of pressure down on it. Um, I also like to to put my board. I don't know if you can see it so well. On a piece of cardboard. You know, out of an old packing box, maybe you know, you get some chips or whatnot in it. And, you, know, you can unfold it and you know, use it as the, you know, just to protect the the, uh, the solder legs on the back side of the board. You don't want to get those all bent up and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, um, anytime you replace these chips, you, you want to do it, you know, with it unhooked from the cabinet, you know, or, or at least you know, definitely unplug the power everywhere do it that way. I highly recommend doing it outside the cabinet, otherwise, you know, you risk, you know, even though the chip might go in there, you know, you might have a leg or two that's popped out and not actually gone down into the socket. So, as I said, you know, take your time, do it right, take take the board out of the cabinet, you know, go and do it that way. But yeah, you know, after that, you know, just double check, triple check your work, make sure that, you know, your notches are in the right position, make sure all your legs are in, you know. Um, even while, you know, you have the chips out, you can, you know, blast it with some canned air if you really want, but it, it's not required unless the board's really, really, really bad. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, you know, it's just pop it in, power it up, and we're fine. Any questions? Feel free to, you know, leave it in the in the comment section. Thanks guys.